move to the side of the way. All right, so heels are together, toes are apart. We are gonna lift and lower. Left and right out of the balls of the feet. Into the big toes. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We are going to step that right foot out and come in. in. This is four, three, two, and one. Other way, we come down, slide in. We have four, three, two, and one. Back and forth, so go right left. Trying to sink a little bit deeper into it. Last four, three, two, and hold it right here on one. So knees are bent. I'm pushing out with my inner thighs. I'm going to lift both heels up and come back down. If you'd like to modify this, you would just lift one heel at a time. So back and forth. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna bring arms back behind me. Arms are gonna stay straight. I'll lean forward and then I'll lift and straighten my legs. Bend and lift. Lift. So as I lift, I squeeze the glutes. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we'll come down, lift, down, lift. And you're opening up the arms. Lift. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, just bring those arms down. All right, turning the toes forward. I'm gonna bend my right knee, left leg stays straight. My toes are pointed in the same direction here. And then we'll roll over to that left side. A little extra stretch before we get started. One more time each side. Last one. And then both legs straighten. We bring the hands down. I'm gonna bend both of my knees, drop my hips, lift my chest. So if you need to modify, big thing is chest stays open and we're trying to drop the hips down. So if you need to be up here, chest is still open, hips are going down, you can stay down here with me, that's great. But then I'll straighten back out. So legs straighten, getting that hamstring stretch, and then nice and slow we drop back into that little hip opener. Again, we're gonna straighten. Last bend. And we'll do one more straighten. And from here, we're gonna roll it all the way back up to standing. Nice job. Let's grab our weights. We are gonna start again in first position. So 
My palms are gonna face one another, and I'm gonna lift my elbows up. So I'm just holding on to my weights, and I've got that slight bend through my elbows still, like we've been doing in classes. So, shoulder height. I'll open out to the right, come back in, open out to the left, come back in. I'm gonna keep that slight elbow bend. Core is pulled in. Shoulders are relaxed. We'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're going to go both arms open and close. Open, close. You can always, always drop your weights if what you have is too heavy. That's perfectly fine. You're still going to get a good workout. We have eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Now go ahead and drop those arms. I'm going to show you this next one from the side. We're still going to have our feet in first position. So heels are together, toes are apart. I'm going to straighten my arms out behind me and pulse. So I'm activating my triceps. I've got my core pulled in the entire time, stabilizing me. But it's just that nice little pulse. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it back there. So as you're holding, you want an extra challenge here. We are going to bend and lift. My heels stay on the ground. Just a nice little plie. Squeezing through my triceps, keeping those arms straight, opening my chest. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bringing the arms back forward, taking the tops of the dumbbells together in the center of my body. I'm going to zip up through my center, lift those elbows, and then bring it back down. So I lift, then I lower. Lift and lower. And if you need an extra challenge here, we'll add the releve. So we lift through the heels, lower everything down. Lift and down. Lift. Making sure we're breathing, we have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up there in your releve. So I'll take my arms down, bend a little bit at the elbows, and then I'm going to lift front and down, keeping that bend through the elbows the entire time. You need to modify, just bring the heels down. Or another way to modify is to do one arm at a time. So it would look like one and two. If you can, keep those heels lifted. Core pulled in. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring it down. I'm going to step my feet out into my sumo squat position. So my heels are still turned in. My toes are turned out just like we did in the beginning of class during the warm-up. My palms are going to face each other and my elbows stay pulled in. I'll curl up and come down. So I'm doing a hammer curl by positioning the hands facing each other rather than palms face up. Now, the more challenging you want to make it, the farther down you sink into that little sumo. 
we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stack those weights at the shoulders. I'm gonna stay sinking down into my legs and I'm gonna press up, come down. Now, if you need to modify, you can come up a little bit out of it. Just have that slight bend through the knees or one at a time through the arms, okay? If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, stay down there. Core pulled in nice and tight. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So I'll start my arms down. Palms are still facing in on each other. I'm gonna lift straight up in front of me, stopping at shoulder height, come back down. And lift and come down. Now, you can stay here or to challenge yourself a little bit more this time. We're gonna start pulsing. So you lift and lower. Keep on pulsing. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On this last one, hold those arms out in front of you. Keep pulsing for me. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Straighten those legs out. You can bring it forward. Nice stretch through the hamstrings. And then from here, we're going to roll it all the way back. Up to standing, roll those shoulders back and forward once. Let's get rid of our weights. Set those aside where they're not going to be in your way. And then we're going to grab our bar. So we'll do one side and then I'll switch it around so you can see the other side. Um, the leg that's going to move, I'm going to bring this down a tad because I want you to be able to see what my legs are doing. So the leg that moves is the outside leg. So if this is your chair or your wall or your table, um, the leg closest to it is the one that doesn't move. That's your stabilizer. I'm going to set that front leg, the one that doesn't move, and slightly bend my knee. Other leg comes around, there's a slight bend in that knee. All right. I've got a nice base of support. I'm not wobbling all over the place. I've got my back toe lined up with my front heel. So that's a good way to tell if you're kind of lined up here. Hand can be on the hip or out to the side of you, doesn't matter. We're gonna pulse one, two, three, and then knee stays bent. We come down to the front, come back, and then we pulse one, two, three. We come front, we come back. Two, three, front, back, two, three. See if you can lift up a little higher and back. One, two, three, front, back, two, three, front, back, two, three. Keeping that toe pointed once it leaves the ground. Back, two, three. Front, back, two, three, front, back, two, three, you have four more. Front, back, two, three, last three, back, two, three, front, back, two, three, last one, back, two, three, stopping here. So I'm gonna press forward, straighten that leg, bend, come back. 
So I press forward, straighten, squeeze the glute, come back. Now as I come back, if I didn't have my bar here, my core is pulled in to keep me balanced, I'm not moving all around. When I come forward, I'm pressing off this back leg and extending out, pointing the toe. So this leg is really working, okay? So we're gonna bend, press forward. Bend, press, and press. You should feel it in that standing leg too. Everything is working. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Still have that slight bend in that standing knee. I'm gonna just bring it forward. My toe might come to the ground, it might not, and I point forward. I bring it back, point back. So this leg stays straight. If you need to bend it a little bit, if you've got a surface that maybe catches where you're wearing shoes, that's fine. But we're trying to keep it straight and keeping that soft bend through your standing knee. We come forward and back. Forward and back. Keep the toe pointed. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. End it back there. Hold it right here. So there should be a generous bend through that standing knee and that standing glute should be on fire. Toes pointed in that back leg. We're gonna pulse it out on the standing leg. So it's my standing knee that comes up and down, but I never straighten all the way out. I'm trying to lift through that back leg. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Okay, so for the stretch, the leg that was standing and not moving crosses over the one that wasn't. We sit down into it. Should feel that nice stretch through the outside glue. And then we'll come back up and we are going to switch sides. So if you need to adjust here, here's the time to do it. And it'll be the same thing on the other side. So again, I step that inside leg forward, make sure there's a nice bend. And then I step that back leg back here, trying to make sure you're lined up, toe to heel. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you'll be able to tell if you're out too far or you're back too far because it's going to feel weird for balancing. Okay? So make sure you've got that nice bend. We're going to pulse one, two, three, forward, back, two, three, forward, and back, two, three, forward, and back, two, three, forward, back, two, three. Try to lift that leg a little more. Coming around, two, three, forward, back, two, three, core is tight. Back, two, three, forward, back, two, three. You'll notice also, I'm not leaned over into myself. I'm making sure my chest stays open, my shoulders stay back. Forward, back, two, three. You have four more. Back, two, three. Six, three, and back, two, three, two, back, two, three, last one, back, two, three. So stay here again. Got that nice space through your knees being bent. You come forward, straighten, come back, forward, back, 
forward, back. I want focus on that glute, squeezing as you lift that leg. Should be like a rock. And we exhale as we push off the ground. So we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, and then we sweep it through, point, sweep it back, point. Forward, point, back, point. And back. So there's still that slight bend through the standing knee. That's going to protect your joint. And keeping that toe pointed. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it back there. Make sure that front knee is bent and we are gonna pulse through the knee. Keeping that leg straight in the back, toe is pointed. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, nice job. So inside leg, the one that wasn't moving crosses, you sit down into the stretch. And then we come back up. Awesome. So we are going to come down to the mat. Um, you can move your bar out of the way. I'm going to make sure you guys are messaging me. Okay, so you guys can see. You guys don't really need to see my face for that part, but um, I will move this down for when we come to the mat. But hopefully everybody can see all right. Sounds like you guys can. Okay. So we are down on the mat. Give you guys a second to get there. I'll move this so that Hopefully it's the best viewing for everybody. Um, we are gonna start in what we usually call crab. So I'm sure some of you guys have done this before. I don't know if I've done this in a class. Hands are behind me. I'm going to point my fingertips towards my feet, okay? If it's a little too difficult for you to point them straight forward, you can always have them out on an angle, that's fine. I'm gonna lift up and then I'm gonna come into my releve, okay? We're gonna stay right here, and then we're gonna do a tricep dip. So it'll look like this. I'm trying to lift my hips, my heels are lifted, I bend my arms and lift back up. So my elbows go straight back and lift up. Now, everybody's range of motion is gonna be a little different. You might bring your hands in a little closer, be able to get into it, or heels can come down, and you can do it that way to modify, okay? So heels lift, or you can keep them down. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, so we're keeping this position, trying to come up through the heels if you can. We're gonna switch back, make sure you've got room. So I'll point my right foot. I'm gonna tap it out, tap it in. Tap it out, tap it in. If you need to, you can always bring that heel down. We're trying to lift through the hips. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So come down for a second. 
we're gonna go to the other side. So again, you can come up, try to start off of the heels, something that will releve, bring that opposite foot out, tap it out and in, out and in. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring it down. Go ahead and reach for your toes. Stretch everything back out. <clears throat> awesome. So now we're going to lay down. I'm going to point this down a little for you. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Okay, so I lay down. And I'm going to bring my feet together. My knees are going to open up. Okay? My back is flat on my mat. If you need to, you might adjust a little bit through the hips. But bringing the belly button in, core is nice and tight. Toes are going to be pointed. I'm going to start with my hands right next to my temples here. If you want, you can bring them behind your head, but please don't yank on your neck. So we'll come up and I'm going to bring my elbows in towards my knees, come back down, bring it up, back down. So we exhale, lift, inhale, lower. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So staying right here. Now I'm gonna bring my arms down so you can see what I'm doing. I'll straighten my legs out, pull back down. We won't do anything with the upper body, but you will hold in this position, okay? So I'll straighten and bend, or you can bring the hands down. But those shoulders are lifted off the ground, core is pulled in, and I keep my toes pointed. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now keep the legs straight, hands come back to your temples, and we're going to pulse it up. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down, pull the knees in, get a little break there. <clears throat> now, I'm going to switch back because I don't want to kick my wall here. I'm going to bring my right knee in and I'll, yeah, I'm going to have to come on my angle here. So I'm going to bring my left leg out, toe is pointed, right knee is pulled in. I'll tuck my chin here, bring my nose up towards the knee, and I'm just hovering this outside leg. Okay, so the leg that's extended is hovering. So I'll hold. And then I'll just nice and slow switch to the other side. So I'm working on bringing that knee in, relaxing those shoulders down. Hovering that leg and then we'll switch. Is your turn now? And we'll switch. Now from here, we're gonna go a little bit faster. So we'll go right, left, right, left. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So we're going to bring both knees in, hold it here, 
and then release the head, neck, and shoulders. You can still pull the knees in, and we'll just bring the feet to the floor. So knees are gonna stay bent. I have room now, I can move to the side. Hands are gonna just go right next to you here. If you need to support your hips coming up, you can do that by just holding onto the hips and helping elevate up and come back down, your choice. I'm gonna try and draw my heels in nice and close to my glutes. And we lift up and hold, and then we come down nice and slow. We'll come up and hold, come down nice and slow. Lift, down, lift, and down. We've got eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, down, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So you can stick with that modification or I'm going to bring my heels up just like we did in that crab. So I'll bring my hips down but not all the way to the ground this time and then I'll lift back up. So I come down and I lift and my heels stay lifted the entire time. Down and lift. Down, lift. So we have eight, lift, seven, lift, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay lifted here. So heels stay lifted if we can. And we're going to pulse. Squeezing right underneath the glutes where they meet the hamstrings. Should be burning here in a second. Core is pulled in. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. I'm pressing up through the hips. Keep those heels lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then slowly bring it down. You can grab the knees, pull them in towards the chest. A little extra release through the glutes here. And then I'm gonna take my hands back behind my knees and I'll roll myself up to seated. And we're just gonna flip over into tabletop. Now, um, my mat is really, really thin. So I'm gonna fold mine over because we will come up out of tabletop in a second here. So I'll start in tabletop. I've just got my knees on the roll part of my mat. <clears throat> I'll start in tabletop. So hands are right underneath my shoulders and my knees are lined up with my hips. I'm gonna curl my toes under and we are gonna lift up out of the knees about one or two inches off the ground. Bear has been a favorite this week, so we'll just, maybe it was, it was last week, but we're just gonna keep going with it. Good for your core, it's good for your glutes, good for your legs, and you don't need a lot of space to do it. So, you can hold Bear here and we'll hold it together. I'm trying not to shrug through my shoulders. I'm lifting up and looking down at the ground. So I'm not straining my neck. And then from here, I'll push back, keeping that same bend through my knees. And then I'll come back into bear. So the knees stay bent in that 90 degree angle the entire time. I'm just pressing back through my hips and then coming back forward. So a little bit of down dog leg move and then coming back into bear. You press back, 
we come center. Just back and center. We have four more. Three, two, and one. Nice job. You can drop those knees, press back into child's pose. Hair in my eye. Okay. So reaching out of the fingertips, can loosen up the hips again. And then coming out of this, I'm just gonna walk my hands back towards my knees. And I'm gonna move this so you can see what I'm doing from the side. So my knees are down on my mat. My taps and my feet are on the ground as well. I'm gonna lift up to start. So I'm one straight line here. And what I wanna do is either hold my hands out or at my sides. I'm coming back in one straight line. So my flexibility probably allows me to stay right here before I start coming out of it. What I don't wanna see is this, that's a different move, and this is not good, okay? So making sure you're really tight through your core, squeezing through your glutes, your hamstrings are working. I'm gonna come back, keeping that nice straight line, Coming up, taking it back, and coming up, really squeezing as we come up. Back, and lift, back, lift. We have four, lift, three, lift, Two, and last one. Awesome, so now we will bend back. So I hinge back here, my glutes come down towards my heels, and then as I come up, I'm pressing the hips forward and squeezing my glutes. I'm trying to see if you can see it better by looking sure. So I'm gonna press forward, squeeze, come back, sit down, okay? So we squeeze, it helps to press the hands back, and then bring it in, squeeze, and down, squeeze, and down, nice job, we have eight, down, seven, down, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So from here, we're going to just start our stretch. I'm going to bring my hands down, curl my toes under, and then I'll gently press back. I'm just opening up the bottoms of the feet. Should feel good. And then from here, we'll just sit all the way down. I'll roll this a little bit. So <clears throat> we're gonna start with, doesn't matter what leg you start with, we're just gonna start by bringing one out, other heel comes in, and then we'll reach for the toes. And then we'll come up, same thing on the other side. So bring the foot out, other heel comes in, and we reach. Awesome, and then we'll bring both feet out. So, I'm gonna move that chair a little bit. I'm trying to come into this straddle stretch. Doesn't matter how far out your legs go, we just wanna be sitting up nice and tall. And then we'll bring the hands forward. 
Now, everybody's flexibility is really different through this. So some people can come a lot farther and lay down. Some people might be up here. Just finding where it feels challenging, but doesn't hurt. So it just should feel like a really good stretch, a little bit of a challenging stretch. But once you find that place, kind of hold there. And then you're gonna take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale out of the mouth, you're gonna bring your fingers a little farther forward. And get just a little deeper into that stretch. Holding here. Trying to breathe into where it feels super tight. Trying to make sure we're not holding or tensing up anywhere. And then we'll do that one more time. So taking a big inhale in. And then exhaling out of the mouth, bringing the fingertips maybe even just a little bit farther forward. And then breathing into it right there. And then from here, we're going to walk the hands back. Awesome. So we'll cross the legs. Get nice and tall. I'm going to take my right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes around. We twist. And then same thing, other side. So left hand comes to the right knee. We twist around. And then we come back to center. So sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to take the hands and just rest them on the knees. I'll roll my shoulders back. We've got four, three, two, and one. And then we reverse it. We'll come forward for four, three, two, and one, awesome. Taking the arms up. Big inhale in, and then on the exhale, bringing one arm down, reaching with the other. Nice big side stretch. Big inhale up, hands come together, and then other side, we reach. And then come back up. So I'm going to bring both arms out. I'm lifting through my chest, trying to widen out through the front here. Shoulder blades come back behind me and together. And then from here, I'll bring the hands forward and round the back. Chin comes down towards the chest. And we come back to center. All right, let's stretch the neck out and then you guys will be all set. So I'm gonna take my right hand over to the left side of my head and gently press down. And then switching sides, left hand to the right side of the head. And release. And you guys are all set. Um, 